All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Scooby-Doo. Anyways, get the fuck out of there. Um, this is the control box. This is the colloidal generator head. If you look at it, this shit out of here. There, as I was saying. So, I build it like this. This is the emergency stop. When I, when I press this button, the whole thing shuts down. So, Turn it back on. This rod, this switch right here, brings up the rod. If you notice, I'm going to press. Look at the rod going up. See that? Yeah. Now I'm going to turn on the high voltage. And we're going to fuck around with the rod. Look for the spark. See that? Okay. You have to play with the spark until you get the right spark. There you go. Right now, it is not automated. So I have to do it with my bare hands. Watch it all the time. Eventually, I'm going to make it automated like the old version but it's looking good so far so far so good look at that spark nice this is the design now I'm going to show you inside hmm. screwdriver screwdriver okay we're going to stop this shit what it is. The rod, there's one electrode, there's the high voltage wire. Put it on the side. Shit, it's dark. Okay, right there. Good angle. High voltage wire. Another high voltage wire. This wire right here, this is the control wire for the motor. For the little motor. The gear. Basically, for the box put this thing over here to protect so you won't get your sh the shit zapped out of you screw it back on and let's do this again Gotta get the right spark. If it was automated, it, it would have catch it by itself. So you have to play with your hand. I'm gonna put a pulse, a DC pulse generator on it. That'll be even more accurate. I'm thinking within two days, I will have this much. This is 200 milliliter, uh, actually 2,000 milliliter. That's half a gallon of colloidal gold. It's going to be 
very pure. Yeah. So, take a very good look at it. If you have any questions, just ask. Thank you.